Hi everyone! What's going on? I hope you're all doing well. We all knew that Thanksgiving and Christmas would be different. There's no doubt about that. So that's why I kind of just wanted to come on here and talk about it a little bit. Like, holidays can be hard. Like, there are... I have this little list that I had created to just go off and you know Thanksgiving and Christmas this year with not being able to celebrate it with all the people that you love whether it's for some reasons related to the pandemic and it's it's hard enough with that but just not being able to see as many people as you would like to, especially with it being the holidays, that's usually when people do come together and just celebrate, celebrate being thankful for other people in your life. So it is tricky and on how to go about it, but I think it's even more trickier when the loneliness factor can come into play. Like, I'm sure it's already been like a lonely time for some, but this just makes it more obvious and more apparent how lonely things can be right now. And it's hard not having people, not seeing, being able to see people. And it's, it is hard. I do sympathize with that. I get it not seeing my family for months just because of everything that's going on and it does get hard but it's important not to go back or not to go into a negative mindset when like there are already people that do get down and just in a depressive state around the holidays and that can be for a lot of reasons. It can be whether it's like if you have a not so good relationship with food. I've heard the phrase saying that it's a, what's happening right now can be a blessing in disguise. Do I agree with that? I don't know. If it is one, it's really messed up. But like it's really messed up. Or make light of the situation that we're in. I've heard that one too. Do I agree with it? I don't know. There's lots of good things that can be said about that and like lots of bad things because it's like if it was a blessing in disguise at what cost has it been? So there's that too but what I really wanted to like the whole message of this like I didn't want to come on here sounding preachy. I am not far from it okay I'm not the type of person to come on here and tell you this is what you should do this is how you should be thinking this is the right way to go about it no that is not the message here okay but I did kind of want to say like what helps me in times when I'm feeling like not so good about myself or just when I'm feeling like not when things are against me but how can I make myself better when I'm feeling like this, you know? So, I, that's why I had to bring my list with because I knew I would have forgotten it. So, I think some common things that are said a lot when people are feeling down and just don't really have a good mindset in the situation that they're in would be just common things. I'm going to, like, say three top things that I've heard and it's like, it can get frustrating, so I'm sorry if this is like, you're thinking, really, you're going to tell me something I already know. But that is not the point of this, but I just want to tell them to you anyways. Relaxation, that could be a good one. Just to like, put on some soothing, relaxing music, you could YouTube this, there's a bunch on there, and they're for free, and they're hours long. So you can obviously skip to the part you like, just put yourself on your bed lay on the floor, and just get to a relaxing state of mind, clear your head, don't think about anything else but you. This is not about you, okay? Not anyone else. Don't let any other thoughts fill that brain of yours, okay? Don't. Um, meditation, that is a good one. 
there's also meditating music, relaxing. They can go hand in hand. Just you, you need to be at peace with yourself and this is the start. So yeah. And then the other one that ties in with that is yoga. And you'd be surprised with how at peace you feel afterwards and it's just a really comforting feeling to have. Um, another thing that I like with Christmas coming up some Christmas movies can be really funny. Some Christmas movies just make you feel good. You know, some have romance in them. I know I'm a sucker for Hallmark movies, so those have been on a lot. They get me. Always have some romance in them, and it's just, it's just really nice for when you might not have that in your life, might not feel that level of engagement with people at the time that interaction so it's just nice to see movies have that love and joy in them I think so I would definitely watch that lastly um this comes back into play with you know the negative mindset that some people do have with food and I'm just telling you it's okay to like have that fear but, I mean, Thanksgiving is the holiday of being thankful for things. And it, it honestly is doing worse for you. It's, it's doing a disservice to yourself. when That's when you hate yourself the most. Hate on yourself the most. Just because something so little can, you know, impact that mindset of the person it it's crazy to me but I honestly do get it take that day or the day afterwards to just you know maybe treat yourself to something on Thanksgiving treat yourself to some like a sliver or a slice or a helping of pumpkin pie like who doesn't like a good slice of pumpkin pie like come on now I just don't want you to look back at this year and just think of it so badly and negatively because of what you might not have done differently. When there's opportunities that present themselves to maybe change things up a bit, you know, change that mindset that you've stuck to so long, you know, it's, it's good to change things up healthy sometimes even in certain cases you don't have to take the suggestions that I made to heart you don't have to do any of them you could be like forget you and just stop and get out of the video and uh, it would be fine it would be completely fine but that's really all that I wanted to come on here and say I hope that I was able to bring you some light on not so bright times and I hope you have a lovely and very blessed Thanksgiving. And thank you for watching. Bye.